Welcome to another episode of Food Finders and today we're gonna go check out Harbourfront which also includes Sentosa. And I'm super excited because I love the beach and I kind of like dressed up for it. One of the things that I like about the Harbourfront area, you have great views of uh, the sea and the island. There's a huge variety of other alternatives rather than just the mall to go to. Alright, let's head off. So we're here at Arbora. The name of the place Arbora actually originated from the Latin word Arbor which means that to be surrounded by trees and lush greenery. This is a really beautiful place to have lunch with your family or friends. Beautiful scenery. You can see the cable cars here. Arbora is also located on Mount Faber itself so you get a very nice view of the city and Harbourfront itself. So it is a very different ambience than the city vibes that you get. Yeah. It's like a getaway in Singapore. There is the bistro area, so this is like the aircon area. And then there's the outdoor area also. Very family friendly. They have like a play area for kids. This is a very Instagram worthy place. And actually I like their tagline, like, I think I saw it just now. It said okay. elevated dining. And I thought, wow, that's so clever. Uh, <laughs> literally. Here we have the smoked duck ragu and then we have the lamb rack as well as the fisherman stew. With garlic bread. With garlic bread. Fisherman stew comes with baby abalone, that's lobster, squid and fish. I wouldn't share this. I would just eat this all by myself. What do you want to eat first? <gasps> pasta! That's yummy. I like how the pasta is al dente. It's like not too heavy on the cream side, which I really appreciate. It's not like super strong on the smoke flavour, which I would have preferred, but it's quite comforting a food mm. to eat. What if I yell louder? <laughs> <laughs> okay, next we're gonna try the uh, lamb rack. Oh wow. Oh, it's really pretty good. So good. The char and the sauce all works pretty well together. Very pretty soft. Tender. Yeah, it's so soft and tender. I'm just gonna try the stew. Yay! Garlic bread! I'm more excited about the stew. Oh, sorry, we have just different priorities. <laughs> This is like a very luxurious fishman stew. That's like baby abalone. It's very subtle. It's a lot of tomato it? flavor, yeah. I guess. You can taste the sea, but very slightly. I don't know, let's try bread. Everything tastes better with bread. Uh, you get quite a sharp acidity coming from the tomatoes. It just goes really well with the bread. Comparing it to like a, a French seafood bouillard base, this is lighter. I just prefer like the heavier flavored um, seafood. Out of all these three, oh my god, it's so hot. The lamb rack. It's my favourite. I have to agree with Erica, even though it seems like I'm copying her. Stop copying me. <laughs> uh, yeah, this was the best dish. And for dessert, yay dessert, we have the chumpadak bread and butter pudding with vanilla ice cream. Chumpadak is a fruit that belongs to the family of jackfruit. Maybe I'm just not used to eating like jackfruit in, <laughs> in dessert. Okay. Like, I'm just not familiar with it. So I was like, oh, this is so strange. You know, I just don't like chumpadak that much that I would actually want to eat it in dessert. I love it. I like that you can get chunks of the fruit. So you get like, you know, this fibrous, meaty bite. Like, I wouldn't crave for dessert most of the time, but I actually don't mind this. It's quite nice because I'm old and sweet things are like, ugh. I would give this a 4.5. So I actually quite like that it is isolated. So not much people actually know about it. You get like a really nice view. Easy, like a 4 out of 5 for Easy. me. Easy. Easy, great view, awesome ambiance. Would we'll definitely come back here. We're done here, so let's head on to the next place. We are here at Good Old Days, which is just about a minute walk away from Beach Station. So it's really convenient to come here. It's local dishes here as well as a mix of like Western food. The look is kind of fashioned after like colonial era houses. Good Old Days is also halal certified. Families can have it as kids meals. Also, this is one of the more affordable options in Sentosa. You can get stuff below $10. Here we have the crispy cheese curd Angus beef burger. This is the lobster Hokkien mee. And then this one is the chicken rice. This is the first time I've ever encountered like a, a crispy cheese curd. And then the chicken rice. I just like the way it's plated. It makes a simple dish look very elegant. We're gonna try the crispy cheese curd first. Crispy cheese curd Angus beef, beef burger. burger. That's a mouthful. I like the cheese burger. It's like cheddar. Yummy! Oh my gosh! I like Someone's it. Someone's impressed. Yeah! It's not bad, right? I like the sauce. The patty's not bad. The cheese curd is really nice. The cheese is surprisingly not as overpowering as I thought it would be. I like how the crispiness of the cheese curd adds an extra texture to the burgers that you don't usually have. We've tried an obscene amount of Hokkien Mee. So back to our first episode with Hokkien Mee. Oh, there's too much lime in my area. I like the texture of the noodles. It's a good amount of sauce, you know. So this is okay. Could be wetter. This is decent. 
I think the thing that stands out for me on this dish is the chili. It tastes unique. From memory, I think this is actually better than like some of the stalls we did for the Hokkien Mee episode. I've had like very shitty like full court Hokkien Mee and this okay, is this is okay. Yeah, lobster is really tough. Oh yeah, lobster is not great. They also do a regular Hokkien Mee, so you don't have to get the lobster version. So the chicken rice comes with vegetable soup, ginger, chilli, dark sauce. Looks promising actually. It's not bad. It's not half bad. Oh, rice is actually not bad. <laughs> when I eat chicken rice, I don't want to feel like I'm healthy. eating something healthy. I want it to be like the jelly-like fatty uh, skin. The rice is actually very fragrant. It's very like slightly elevated version of your like standard food court chicken rice. The meat itself is actually yeah. really tender. The meat is very succulent. This is like above average chicken rice. It's not cheap though, it's like 12 80 Worth trying honestly for me. Worth yeah. trying, worth mm. trying. I would give good old days a 3.5. I think the food <laughs> is surprisingly above average. Can I give like three point, like eight? Like <laughs> I'd give this place like a three point five out of five. The food is great for like what you think is just regular local food, but it's actually like better than your expectations. All right, I think I'm ready for more food. We are here at Ola Beach Club, and this is a true blue Hawaiian-inspired uh, beach club. So you can really sit back and relax. It's family friendly and it's also pet friendly. At Ola, they also have their own pool that you can enjoy. So the dishes we have are actually Hawaiian inspired. Here we have the ahi poki with the sashimi grate tuna and also with guacamole, pomegranate and I forgot the word for this. What? Flying fish roll? <laughs> fish roll, yeah. Then this dish is the lokomoko which is the wagyu beef patty with kombu rice. What's on top of the patty is actually a tempura fried egg. The wagyu patty is really flavorful. It's just like a burst of savory goodness. Honestly, not, not a fan. Is it because it's salty? A, because it's salty. I like my patty is not super cooked throughout. So like I do enjoy a little bit of pink love. I'm going to practice my tossing arms for Chinese New Year now. I don't normally like tuna sashimi. I think because the tuna has been marinated in shoyu, it made it so tasty. I like it. I think it's delicious. It feels very healthy. <laughs> I like the texture, so there's a lot of textures going on. The fish roll, there is the sesame seed, uh, that's the pomegranate. It's very heavily seasoned to me for like the, the shoyu. I would give this a 3 out of 5. I like the vibes, not particularly a fan of um, the food is a bit heavily seasoned for my taste. I would give it a 4 out of 5 because the ahi poke as well like made me like change the way I feel about tuna sashimi. Let's head on to the next place. So we're here at Coast Sentosa. This place has a really like rustic vibe, super chill and easy going. So if you want to come to the beach, I would definitely recommend Coast. The cuisine at Coast is very western. The food is very hearty and comforting, very popular with kids and families that come here. If you just want to come here for a drink as well, they serve great beers and cocktails. So here we have the Coast breakfast and then we have here the homemade granola with Greek yogurt and their fresh summer berries. And over here we have their rosti with the smoked salmon and poached eggs. We're gonna try the granola first. I'm not typically a fan of Greek yogurt because it's sour, but I think they balanced it out with the maple granola. Oh, that's sour. You gotta eat it with the granola. I did. But it was not sweet enough. Is it sweet for you? I think it's like an old people thing. I don't like overly sweet things. <laughs> You're so old! The granola and the maple just cut through like only later, like towards the tail end. So we're gonna try the coast. coast breakfast. Eggs! You're gonna do eggs first. I'm gonna try the snail sausage. Really creamy, really buttery, savory egg. Yeah, the eggs are great. I like that it's not overcooked, so it's still runny. Yeah, it's a great sausage. Oh, this is thick cut bacon. It's actually quite smoky. It's a very meaty bacon compared to like the thin, crispy types. Oh, yeah, I actually really like the bacon. This is the rosti with the smoked salmon and poached egg. I love salmon. Rosti I'm alright with. Ooh. Okay, it's still runny. Money shot. I think the poached egg and the smoked salmon a bit light on the flavour all by itself but with the rosti, adds like a bit more punch to it. The chart flavour is a bit much for me. I mean, I like that they are not very pretentious with the food. I would give this place a 3.5 upon 5. I love the vibe. The food is straightforward. The deterring factor is it's really the price for me. I give it a 4. I really like the whole rustic vibe. It's very casual. The food is as exactly described on the menu. 
and it's, it's decently cooked. We have come to the end of today's episode. My favorite place is definitely Arbora. In terms of the entire dining experience, I would definitely give it to Arbora. I think I rated Arbora the highest as well. It is a secret hidden spot yeah. where you can get a great view in Singapore. I might well go to Arbora as well for today's episode. Let us know what you guys want to see next. Until next time, bye!